Does your heart feel the pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Thank you very much. Thank you. We will go on Christ. PT leg four is here in Manchester. Last year, Dave Coldclough won it. Fantastic heads up battle with uh, with uh, Barry Neville lasting over two hours. 250 guys are already milling down in the building. Who's going to win this year's leg? We will find out over the next four days as the guys do. Welcome back. to Luton for leg ten of the GUK PT 2013. Uh, but more importantly, and most importantly. You have won the title of the Leg 3 GKPC winner here in London. I'm going to hand over to Martin Ramsdale, the general manager, who's going to give you your trophy. So ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for Ketel Lakwani. In disguise, Mr. Sarinda Suna. There we go, the Wolves. 88,000. What will he? What? What's he going to do on Saturday? 88,000. Surinder, you normally come back with 10 big blinds, man. Well, less than that. About two big blinds or three each. I'm just working on my Belarus speech. Right. There's three famous things about Belarus. They have the tallest Lego building in the world. Right. They also have the longest match. It's 27 foot long. But they also have the most people that live in rented accommodation. 96.8% of people who live in Belarus live in rented accommodation. Right. Did you know that? No. I just made it up, but it sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> See, for, for, guy, for guys that win the Triple Crown, what you don't realise is this is where it all started. Ten pound rebuys, is that right Jake? Yep. In this place? That's where it started. All started here with this fella here. Ten pound rebuys back in the day. Yep. And then we've gone on to bigger and better things. We know that. Uh, nice to see you in a, in a, in a British card room. The first pound rebuy we played actually, we chopped heads up. Really? Yeah, for like <laughs> 250 pound each or something. Fantastic, bigger and better things. For being the winner of the GCPT in Warsaw for 2008. Give it up for everybody. A big round of applause for Jeff Kimber. Unfortunate ace queen against king queen, king on the flop, the first all in in the call on the bubble and that is it, we are now all in the money, congratulations ladies and gentlemen, everybody's in the dosh! It's pretty, it's absolutely it's everything, awesome. it's awesome. if, I win, if I win I promise you I'll cry, yeah. genuinely. Well you'll make me cry, that's, that's, I'm an that's emotional so person. That's how much it, uh, that's how much it means. Yeah. <coughs> well, well, we'll we'll just blub together then. If, if, if it happens, hours time. We've got a dinner break. Looking forward to the buffet here in Bolton because uh, yesterday it was very nice indeed. Just had lunch. Thank you very much to the staff at Louvre for treating me again. Bill, and it was beautiful. Let me tell you. Right, we checked, checked it. It was nice on the thing. Off. He says he has tens. He talks like rubbish. Like that. <laughs> Local cordon to you. What would it mean taking down this massive event? Ah, it's early days. Early days. I've not even thought about it. Just I'm, I'm enjoying playing, it's, it's great, there's some great players here, it's great to play against the most of them. So it's always good to see you, and we'll see you Saturday. See you today. Now we're going to play tennis on the Kinect. Return, return. We've been playing for six hours, four minutes, and I'm worn out. Come here, this man here. He straight, he's going straight to the bar. We're quick, quickly, 30 seconds. Nice to see you. Two-time bracelet winner. Back on the GUKPT circuit. We heard that overlay flag. <laughs> was that what it was? Yeah, I was just at home and everyone was said we're going over to Manchester for the, for the tournament. I was just about to register WCOOP. Yeah. I sat in my chair ready and, uh, and then I was like, why not? You've got, you've got a lady to your left hand side and somebody mm. has told you, somebody mm. has told you on the forum to just keep your eyes on the cards. <laughs> He's got Michelle O to his left. He's okay. Love that guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Here we've entered the new problem. <laughs> yeah. Women, this isn't easy for me. And bear in mind, this is probably going out and my wife's going to see it and I'm going to get slapped about the chops. But she is lovely and it, and I'm trying my hardest not to steal her blind. And it's, <laughs> it's no easy. It's no easy. Happy to going to get Lee Harrison, the card room manager, to hand over the trophy to, uh, to Reese Jones, champion in Manchester. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Mr. Rhys Jones. Oh, well, never got myself a cup of tea, it's too warm in here. Anyway. Anyway, oh, Viva Las Vegas was 1963. Yeah, but the question was, was which band covered it in 1992? That's the question. And took it into the top 10. But I am talking to myself. Normally I am. <laughs> He's got number ones on the website. <laughs> oh, record of Viva Las Vegas and took it into the top ten in 1992. Who was it? Not the the dead Kennedys who were there. No, it wasn't the dead Kennedys. So <laughs> Shaking Stevens. It wasn't Shaking Stevens either. <laughs> I'm not using Wikipedia. I know exactly the song. I've got it in my. Uh, I've got it on my seven-inch singles list. Shaky Stevens did White Christmas. Uh, not White Christmas. Blue Christmas by Elvis. Uh, Stu Dawson. Well done, sir. ZZ Top. ZZ Top did it in 1992 and I thought it was an absolute I don't know if, you, if you've never listened to it just stick it on YouTube uh, it's a great cover version by ZZ Top of Viva Las Vegas it really is sounds <laughs> good sounds good yeah, one of the one of the hardest things one of the hardest things for me doing a doing a quiz <laughs> now is, is that everybody can use <laughs> Bing or or Wikipedia or Google Chrome or Google or whatever it is. It's just one of those things, that's all. Nothing we can do. Just nice to throw the questions out there while we're uh, waiting for them coming back. Do you get a prize? <laughs> Free entry to the Goliath. That'd be nice. But unfortunately not. It'll be, it'll be over by 8.45. It, it's... It's half seven now. We're on the way. An hour and a quarter. Here we go. Straight in. We're done, baby. Come on, baby. Done, 
Stephen Nesbitt and Joanne in Belfast. Oi, oi. Ah, Rob Wright's done. Ah, nice one. Nice one, Stephen. Here we go. Uh, Here we go. A bit of ZZ. Oh, bloody YouTube stopped. <gasps> A bright life city gonna set my soul. Here they come. Here come the players. Chip counts at the break. They're talking about the answers here. In. In. Yeah. Is it 15,000 or 30,000 or 3,000? Chip Gowns to the break. Simon 1.8, 1.6 for Ben, and Maz has got 3, 6, 8 lines. Aww. 1530. Well, here we go. Next level. Oh. I have no idea who wrote it. Elvis sang it. That'll do for us. Here's 10 for Simon. Calls in the small blind. Yeah. Uh, what did Ben have against Simon's aces? Pocket eights, he had. Pocket eights. Nick van der Weer, good evening. Just joined us at the right time. Three left. Maz Baker, oh. Simon Deadman, and Ben Windsor. It ain't a bad last three. <laughs> we even got Ali Zini in the chat box. That's how good this live stream is today. Sunday evening. What else you got planned? Nice. Watching the GUKPT. Thank you very much.
Next event after Walsall for the team. Cardiff. 2nd of July till the 7th. The Goliath is in August, 10th to the 17th. Is Rupert going to be about for the Goliath? Uh, no, I might just be going somewhere else. Can't think of anywhere else to go, but yeah, I'm thinking of taking a slight holiday somewhere else. On the 5th, maybe. Andy Nye voice. <laughs> well played, Andrew. Well played, Andrew. Great effort, sir. A good effort. Finishing 7th. It was a cracking effort. I don't know what you mean, Nick. It would be a laugh, unfortunately. I'm elsewhere. It would be a really good laugh. Nick van der Weer has never played the Goliath. Well, 250,000 reasons why you should. <laughs> Cheers, Ali. Cheers, Ali. I'll have one in Vegas for you <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> hey. Oh, everybody joining. We should do the biggest, the world's biggest sing along. That's what we should do. Three left. Mazza in a bit of trouble. He needs help. He's down to about 11 bigs. Stephen, I'm gonna miss you. I've got, a, I've got, I've got a date on Thursday in Las Vegas. Bright light city, gonna set my soul. They gonna set my soul on fire. Uh, enjoy yourself in Blackpool next week, mate. Have a great time. I mean, uh, we're off, we're off, we're off, we're off in a motor car. <laughs> Close escape. <laughs> that Simon Devon chap looks like quite a good play. You're not kidding, it's been awesome. What a great final table this has been. Long time ago, we lost more Koreshi in ninth. Anybody remember that? No? Well, he did. He went out in ninth. In eighth. Was John Eames seventh? Was Andrew Garland in sixth? Was Don Jones doing it for the locals in fifth? Was Michael Hart and in fourth was Tony Harmon? Check. We're down to three. Check. 
Is he off to Vegas? Yeah, I think he's going out on the 19th, I've been told. I don't know, ask him. Bit of a sick hand, this one, is it? Roger, it wasn't a 10. Is Alex? No, not Alex Garland, Andrew Garland. I don't know, Andrew Garland might just be a. Uh, he might, he might just be an author. Can't find anything on Andrew Garland, the poet. 90 diamonds on the river. It means Simon is gonna scoopy scoopy. Another half a million pot between him and Ben. Simon is gonna move over two million in chips. Miles Baker needs a bit of help. He's down to 10 bigs. What's wrong with the Monday? Bob Geldof wrote a song about that. Simon Dedman, also cheap leader, also getting there and knitting the flops. Bennett's second pair. Oh, boom. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a turn card picked out of the pack, that'll be it. Turn card. And now Ben leaves out, makes it 48k. Simon calls on the river here to 10. Simon could well think he's good here. So we're thinking that Ben's gonna fire out. Nice little bet around about 110 mark will be uh, will be good. Might get a call as well.
Two million to Simon Ben, one point four. Maz needing help. Check. 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 Get me that triangle. I suppose the problem the two guys have got with all the chips is that they don't want to double up the short step because the short step will just grind away for another hour or so. And that's the problem they do have. He's down to less. Well, he's down to 10 bigs. They don't want to double him up, really, do they? He's going to that situation now where he's on 10, 11, 12 bigs, double him up, he's pretty dangerous again, you know. It's a tough one for the two guys. GUKPT has always uh, always changed it to a 45 minute clock when it gets four handed because the amount of hands you get on a 45 minute clock four handed is a, they reckon is the same as you get a, on a eight or nine handed table with a, with an hour clock. So the uh, answer to Stuart's question is that the clock is 45 minutes long from four down. So we are now playing a 45 minute clock. It's not a turbo. You still need you still need to play the cards and you still need to have a proper game. But 45 minute clock 400 equates to a 60 minute clock 7 or 8 hand. So uh, they've done it for years. In fact, I think they've done it since it started to be fair. But it does change. It's a 45 minute clock now. 
and Maz Baker is up to 15 big blinds. Been done, not that I know, not that I know at all. Maz Bako with 10 big blinds is never going to get a deal, is he? To be fair. at the minute, Ace King and Fools. Simon gets there again. Card for Ben. If you think Nick, might, if you think Simon might just have a nine, then it's a biggie. Let's 
So I must stick in a big bet here. Get a bit of value. So many hands that Simon could have that he's bluffing with. Tank. Nice bet, bet sizing from Simon as well. Such a terrible board for a pair of fools. In the tank. What can I put him on? Can I put him on the big hand like Ace Queen or Ace Jack? the good player that he is just trying to work it out and he calls for Simon Shaw's ace king yeah you can watch it on YouTube later but as Nick says it's all about the live stuff isn't it it's all about having a, having a lot of fun with you guys out there enjoying it making the live stream as much fun as it possible. I'm I'm sat in Sheffield. I'm not really. I'm not really. I'm only kidding. Uh, we're all in the casino. I'm basically sat about 20 foot, 30 foot away from the from the table, so they can't hear me. And it's all done by technology. The things we can do these days, eh? It's fantastic, innovative, innovative table by cardroomdirect.com that brings us the live stream. No, no, we're on a 30 minute delay, my friend. Uh, everything, everything that you're watching, everything that you're watching is on a 30 minute delay, so nobody can see my screen and nobody really wants to to be fair 30 minutes behind they can't gain anything because if if they've got friends watching the live stream they could easily text their hands when it's finished in 30 minutes time so uh, no real advantage we know we're in the same casino it's all done by the table cardroomdirect.com sort of the table out we've got it is fantastic and the fantastic pitch quality as well, all HD cameras. And we're in Walsall, can you believe it? We're in Walsall for the GUKPT.
<laughs> Nick's exactly right. And there were, every now and again, in behind Ben in seat number nine, you'll see a young lad sat there on a stool and he's got a computer in front of him. And what he does is he types in the bet sizes and the action. There he is, there's Mickey. Sat down, putting in the bet sizes, putting in fold or raise or anything like that. And that's all the graphics that you see on the on the table. The bet sizes, the raise sizes, everything like that. And that's, uh, that's what Mickey does. And it's one of the most important jobs that there is. So without him, you wouldn't get any of the that's figures and you know, all the all-ins and the calls. Just like we've got now... King seven against aces. Mazza has just ran into Simon Deadman's boots. King seven. Here we go. We will see the flop. We've got the boots for Simon against King seven. And he's come seven four, eight. Get more outs here, King. What a seven will take it. A six for a shot. Five. That's the river. Oh, £11,900. I'm not sure how long the break will be. If there is a break, to be fair. The side event winners photos taken on Facebook. That would be soon, won't it? The side event winners photos. I think that might be soon. No, no, no. Oh, Yanis. That's Yanis, apparently. Yanis has been taken. Yanis has taken him. So there you go. Good old Yanis. Yeah, he is very, 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 very good. But he does get some hands this, as well as being very good. So straight into heads up play, seats three, seat nine. Ben Windsor from Thanny or close by. Simon Deadman. I don't know where Simon lives. Is it is it Leeds? I think he might live in Leeds and travels to Nottingham a lot. So we're heads up. Evening Colin, hope you're well sir, Mr Colin Poulter, wish you open, surely he can't finish second this time, well he has got the chips but we all know one flip of a card and it's, uh, it is then two million a piece and we're back to uh, the good old grind of heads up battle. Would you fold aces to two all-in bets in the first hand of the GUKPT Grand Final main event? The answer should always be 99.9% .9 if not 100% no. No, you have the best starting hand possible. You are probably run it five times and you might lose once 
So Ben, leave the best of it this time. Yeah, sit back. He's himself over to 1.1 1 .1 million. <laughs> what they got suited aces. <laughs> hey dear. Nick Van der Weer, no. So super heads up battle between Simon Dedman and Ben Windsor is going to take place. Looking forward to it. Two fantastic players. We are down to two from 196 that played Immortal. Interesting from the guys. Well, the GUKPT goes all around the country, Stu. You check all the details. I've, I've, I think I mentioned once or twice that the next event is in Cardiff. We've got Cardiff, Reading, Leeds, Luton, Blackpool, and London to do for the remaining remainder of the year. First six months of the year are over. I'm taking a short break. <laughs> Guess where we're going? Thank you. 
Stuart's already on the money. Good lad. Good lad, Stu. Good lad. Just. Do you think 12 months time when the GUKPT comes back round again and we're in Walsall again? If it is here next year, you never know. Because there's that many Grosvenor casinos. But if we are, you'll have a 12 months experience and we could be sat here watching you play this fantastic game. schedule for the GUKPT normally gets announced around the first week in December so we won't know any details until then you can qualify on Grosvenor Poker there's feed at three pound feeders five pound feeders 30 pound rebuys 50 pound freeze outs all kinds of games going on practice the more you'll love it Ben loves this flop this is probably going to get called here by Simon in the middle these two well look at this for the cola for Simon Denman oh my word this is massive Ben cannot win the competition if he moves all in or the pot ends up all in and a cold but this is just wrong wow in 180 is Simon coming over the top just in case he thinks he might be flushing <laughs> we're guessing the final hand of it or oh, the final card <laughs> here he comes he's a five of spades Well, I would be amazed if this doesn't all end up all in. And this is just primed for a Ben Windsor double up. Be 
big bet from Simon. Looks like about four four hundred thousand, is he? I'm all in. So I bet four hundred and sixty five thousand on the river and a bet call from Ben. Maybe a little surprised that he didn't come over the top. Anthony Fox, where's the Thanet Massive? They're all, they're all in Vegas. Apparently Andy Purser is on the final day of the 600 in the Venetian. Boosh. Chips have turned, Ben wins is back in charge. So what's the tips for the World Cup by the way? Seeing as though in his uh, Brazil favourites. Who's your favourites for? Who's your pick for the World Cup? I know, well, it depends on what you Belgium, 20 to 1. If Costa Rica win, I'll pay you myself. <clears throat> Ziggy Sig, sponsor the Grosvenor Casino GUKPT. Make the switch, premium electronic cigarettes by Ziggy Sig. I thought Spain was pretty big at eight to one. But Spain have got a fantastic squad.
I said Spain and Argentina. They were my two picks. So heads up, big battle, trophies on the table. Looks like. Oh no, I thought they were doing a break. They're not, they so just taking charge. Trophies in play. Yeah, I think they're talking. It looks like it. they might be talking a deal. I'm not sure there's a break when they do a deal. Paolo one chop. <laughs> remember him? Are you old enough to remember Paolo one chop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Derby County, Man City. <laughs> <laughs> No, not at all, mate. This will carry on. They've obviously left a little bit to play for and the trophy. You have to play it out. There is indeed two and a half, two thousand two hundred pound grand final seat for the winner in every main event. So the deal has been done. Twenty-three thousand five hundred pound each. A thousand pounds to play for. Grand final seat and the title. Well, they are two of the best British players on the circuit at this moment in time.
Yeah, these two are the most prolific and the most consistent festival players I know at this moment in time. We know it's a form game, but uh, when you're good and a bit lucky as well. Nick van der Weer knows exactly what he's talking about at all times. Uh, I don't know. It's entirely up to the player's discretion. Sometimes nothing. Well, you can understand why they've done a deal, can't you? 2.1 and 1.8, two fantastic players. <laughs> Good evening, Amanda. How was your latest trip abroad? Simon calls pre. Simon Pre. Thank you. 
That's a great bet from Simon. It's going to be very hard now for Benny to even attempt to call this. into a monster pot and they both got complete air bulls. <laughs> Chubba <-do. laughs> Much ado about nothing. Chubba up baby. Can he put him on jacks, queens, kings, or aces? Other than that, we're splitting the pot. So we chop it up. Chop it up. And if <laughs> sorry about that, I thought, I thought he said I actually thought he said call in. Fold. I'm only calling to chop it. Then 2.2 gets 1.6. So it's just gone past 20 past now, just nearly 20 past 9 in the evening, it still heads up. <laughs> oh, 
turn it off. Who was Not watching so. Coronation Street? Eh? When this is on. <laughs> so Simon is not having the best of it at this moment in time we're just checking out the Facebook on what time naming the time we're getting close it's 21 minutes past 9 9.47 9.17 has just gone past 9.47 from Nigel Jones could be a good guess 9.47 and then the then the, obviously the winning hand indeed he was Ben was chip leader for most of the day indeed indeed he was So they're going to end up in the middle very shortly. Simon Devman is down to. Ooh. Yep. Simon down to 290,000. Well, he ain't one yet. <laughs> Please be me, Jack Nine. <laughs> Every credit. It's all in from Ben. Just going to apply the pressure now and an all it. Oh no, and a fold. Simon just has to get out of the way. As you can see there, 230,000. 
The air seat with the S6 was ridiculously big. Two pair V2 pair. Two pair on the flop for Ben. Simon turned two pair. Well, Simon could call this the Suta connectors, five or six bits. The hand at the moment five, is five, eight, five, eight that wins it, we if he wins it. Here we go. Four, four, Redraw eight, with the spades, or the six. Pot, 18, 10. Or a chop pot <laughs> with the five, with the five going. <laughs> Let's split it up. Simon Denman chops it as you were. Yeah, if you do read the blog that PK has been running all week. And don't put any spoilers onto the... Uh, don't put any spoilers in the chat box. Thank you very much. Nice all in. <laughs> They're only playing Chaz and Dave in the casino. <laughs> Oh darling, there ain't no place in you. He never put it down. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't watch Game of Thrones. No, I don't watch Spoilers. I haven't watched Game of Thrones for ages. I'm still on season two. Now everything you got it done was only meant for you. But now you I tell you what, the music in this gaff is just tops. No more. Where's Ollie? All in a call. All in a call. Oh, no, all in. Queen, 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 Queen. No please in you. All in. Simon Here is now again. favourite to get a double up with 310,008 bigs. Ben needs to hit to win. Eight, two, nine. Drop. Oh. Turn, three, eight. 
He needs to fear the Queen of the Three and Simon doubles up, he's done it again. Simon double three. You and I'm blue it. Can't beat Chaz and Have, can you? Simon Devon doubles up. Badam Badam. I've gone and done. No, oh, Simon back in it. Is what you wanna do? Oh, darling. So Damon, Simon Devon chops one and then wins one. Still going on. <laughs> yep, that is just... Uh, £1,000 to play for, the grand final seat, the trophy, and all the accolades that goes with winning a w <laughs> WSOP. I knew they said WPT then, a GUKPT. Thank you. 
Back with you guys. Well, what has happened? What has happened? Simon Deadman's got right back into it. Ben wins a big one. It's now Ben's to lose again. It's a fantastic, fantastic final. It really, really is. Simon is just battling on and battling on. He's trying to get straight back into it. He gets a big hand, he loses a big hand, he gets a big hand, he loses a big hand. It's the way he's been. Ben Windsor is just quality at this moment. And Simon Demon, yet again, can he just get over that line? They're both racing towards the finishing line, the neck and neck. 30 yards from the line, but nobody can just squeeze over the line. Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? So, Ben, three million chips, three point eight chips, three point eight million chips in play. Yeah. 
So, bit of money's another. Don't forget they separated the money, split the money, 23 and a half each, £1,000 for the winner. Extra, a grand final seat. On the trophy, the accolades of absolutely everything that goes along with the GUKPT. Simon Dedman doing his thing, trying to get back into it again. Cheers, Stuart. Glad you've enjoyed it, actually. Glad you've joined us and glad you've enjoyed it. Really hope you've enjoyed it. We ain't finished just yet. So, heads up, fantastic Val, they split the dosh, if you just joined us, they have split the money, £23,500 each, £1,000 extra to the winner, and then, and then, the trophy, 
the seat to the grand final as well. The big, big. It's not just the. It's not just the splitting the money. There's a grand final seat up for grabs as well. Ben is chip leader and still in prime position. Is a break scheduled? I'm not too sure if there's another break yet or not. They've not had a dinner break, which is good for the game. I think they have like a five. Well, this might be just it. This just might be a five minute break. I'll leave the TV on, but I think it's a th less than a five minute break is. So back with you when they come back. It is only three minutes or five minutes maximum, something like that. Well, we said it was a two minute break, and it is. Back with it. So that's the break over with. No more breaks. We don't think. Well, it'll be another two hours if there is. Be another two levels if there is. Unless they just split the extra thousand pound as well, <laughs> which I doubt very much. Got Casino Royal on the telly as well. <laughs> Excellent. Good movie. A very, very, very good movie. <laughs> Thank you. 
Simon is going to have to dig deep again. Dazzle is watching rounders. Excellent. I was watching Bubba Watson earlier. Live stream brought to you by Ziggy Sig. Make the switch. Premium electronic cigarettes. In association with Grosvenor Casino. And the trophy, once it's handed out, the official trophy supplier. And partner to the UKPT is Hemel Trophy and Jewel. Evening, Sylph. Come on, the dead man. He needs a double up. Sharpish. Two super troopers left Simon Deadman's Ben Windsor. It's been amazing. Absolutely awesome. What a final table we have had. Hey, anybody remember what time more correct you got now? Time ninth. It was a long time ago, wasn't it? Simon 
can't do anything with that. He's down to less than 20 bigs now. He's going to need a bit of help. That is for sure. Ben wins it, stacking them and racking them. Simon Devon, ace four of diamonds. Needs a bit of help. These are nice hands. Well, oh, tokens flicked in. The triangle is in the miggle. Yes, King for Simon. Is he going to get any action on? He's going to raise it up. Men's with eight eye. And he's going to get away. He's going to throw it in the bin. I'm not gambling with that rubbish, he says. Mrs. Can you sing us a song to keep us awake? Well, we'd hate to disappoint, wouldn't we? I've got Andy, but. What? What song would you like us to sing quickly? I don't mean quickly because I can't sing quickly, but what song would you like us to sing? We take requests. <laughs> to keep us awake, I've got a friend that takes me to say, I was watching the live stream last night, you were brilliant for the missus, she fell asleep. <laughs> you have that effect on I have that effect. I've had that effect on women for 30 years. Elvis, I think. <laughs> Can't think of any Elvis song. Can't think of any Elvis song relating to any town at all in America. That we might be visiting. That we might be visiting in five days time. How many sleeps? Four. Four sleeps. Four sleeps. One plane. Ten hours. And then we end up. <gasps> and right, lad. City gonna set my soul. Gonna set my soul on fire. I got a whole lot of love and that's ready to burn. So get the flames all high. Viva last wages. <laughs> Good luck if you're on the grind tonight while you're watching the live stream. It's 10 p.m. The token time for the finishing time. Now, is it closest without busting? For what? The total for the time. Because Gareth yeah. Howard gets 9.59 and it's 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah, it's going to be the closest without going over. The next one is Darren O'Neill on 10.40. You've got 40. 10.40. 10.40. 40. You've got 40 minutes, Darren, to get yourself a fiver. Gambler, isn't that um, Kenny Rogers? Kenny Rogers. 
on a warm summer's evening, on a train bound for nowhere. Met up with a gambler up to town to speak. So you know the words, Phil, but you obviously don't know the tune. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Rogers. Dave Cullen said he had 1019, did he really? Where are we looking? I can't see 1019. Hang on a minute. I can't see 1019. Where's 1019? There, they might do. I'm looking on Facebook and Danny Cullen's not put not putting a guess. If you put it in the chat box, it doesn't count, unfortunately. Uh, Dave, if it, if it went, that. if it went, if it went in the chat box, it's it's on the Facebook account for GUKPT. That's where all the guesses are. That's where all the guesses are, unfortunately for yourself, sir. You might win it, but it's null and void. You flip that token. So as yeah. you can see, 15 bigs from Simon. Oh, no. I, I, we did stipulate that it was the Grosvenor website, for Grosvenor Facebook account. Do apologise, Dar Dave. Do apologise, Big Dak Dave. Yeah, that comp finished. Now that'll never happen. Simon's all in. Here we go. The winning hand at the moment. The winning hand, if it's a winner, is pocket fours. We have an all in and a call. Pocket four for Ben. Eight, eight, the fourth. Drop is eight, two, eight. Oh, heck. Get that double up, baby. And four on the river. Ten, the river. Four on the no. river. Yeah, that double up. Base back, Bosch. Uh, next time. Next time, Dave. So the, and the final hand is for. Uh, the 30, 30 pound to 33 pound token as well. Thanks to everybody in the chat box. Really, really enjoyed it this uh, last couple of days live with you. Bringing the uh, the live stream. Unfortunately, Will Kasuf never got onto the uh, feature table this, this week. Maybe it was a blessing. I'm only kidding, Will. I'm only kidding. You know, the microphones would have took it. <laughs> you know, we love you. He's an ice cream, isn't he? Amanda, Amanda the missus says, if I don't sing Lady Gaga poker face, she's off to bed. Good night. <laughs> I, I don't know it. About humming the tune. This is my poker face. Well, that's all I know in that song. I'm not a very big Gaga song. I'm not a big Gaga fan, to be fair. So Amanda, sleep well. <laughs> Get up for work in the morning. Don't be late. <laughs> it's called the wipeout. Not long. 
Fancy playing Beach Boys and Wild Wipeout. Wild Wipeout. Singing Hey Ola Wipeout. What was it? Oh, it was the Fat Boys, wasn't it? It was the Fat Boys and White and uh, the Fat Boys and the Beach Boys. That's no, what it was. It was. What a tune. Why, why, pounds? Amanda's just come back from Magaluf. It rained and she's still got a suntan. How does that work? Warm rain. Warm rain. Must have been. Rust? No. Where's the earphones in? So we're getting the chips right now, Ben and Simon. Montana banana. Caesar flop. Why is it called a Montana banana? Because it's harder to grow bananas in the coldest state in America than it is to win with nine deuce. There you go. Is that really why it's That's called a Montana banana? That's really why they call it. Yeah. Easier to grow bananas in Montana than it is win with nine deuce. Well, he's got it, Ed. But as we can see, <laughs> that theory goes straight out the window. Oh. Simon clawing his way back. Don't think. Wait. Well, is it on the river? So. Here comes Foxy. Silver Fox, is it back in the chair? Foxy, Foxy. He was watching the live stream after just having a sauna and a jacuzzi this morning. He was. Ah. He says, there ain't no hotel watching the live stream. Give us a shout out. Okay. I saw him at breakfast. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't fancy breakfast. Well, you don't eat much, do you, Phil? Yeah. Ah, no, 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 not really. Like a racing snake. <laughs> so, big chip leader Ben wins it. Although, I have him out. Uh, Against Simon Dedman. Simon's got the old A7. We've got the Silver Fox dealing, just joined us on the table. Oh, hi, Silver Fox, right, get yourself right, in. <laughs> Oh. 
So the Foxy joined us at the table. My bell, ring a ding a ding. My bell, ring a ding a ding. Music's great. I tell you what, I want this person who gets his music into this casino. Honestly, into my casino. Fancy a dance? Back to work. And back to work. An Eat Ward 1979. Boosh! Get in there, Lee. What a great shout. Did I say for the village of Junction 10? No, I didn't. We stayed in the Holiday Inn. Hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. And that was uh, just before you got to the motorway, leaving the casino. Behind the trees. Ben, Ace, Jacob. Oh, Simon, Ace, 10. This is, whoa, this has got to be, isn't it? Huge. Bet, raise. Simon makes it 160. I'm going to try and get it all in, any obviously. This has to be it, doesn't it? Race. If Simon reaches to his right hand, to his left hand side and gets the triangle, he's in danger. And Ben Windsor, his favourite to win the title. Simon in the tank. Knows it's a huge moment on a GUKPT final. Heads up against Ben Windsor. Flicks it in. Is this the moment? Here comes the flop. Oh, split pot possibilities. A seven for a chop. Ace is an ace with the jack at the minute. It's, it's a winner! It is over! Ace 10 is in the muck. Simon Debman has finished good. second and Ben Windsor is the two, winner! Two, what a performance! <laughs> what a fantastic final! We've just witnessed one of the greatest final tables we're ever going to get on a GUKPT and yet again this man is involved and yet again second but uh, to quickly sum it up, fantastic performance, down up, down up, but uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, same as always, he's not going to lie, really disappointed not to win again but I don't know, all I can do is just go away and practice my headset I guess and try and improve, I don't know. I think Ben deserved the win to be honest, he played better than me, so... Yeah. Good final table as well, wasn't it? Um, yeah, well, it, yeah, it was to watch, good, yeah. I don't know what it was like to play, it must yeah, be intense. I had but, really so. good fun up until heads up and then I just seemed to, I don't know, lose my head in a couple of spots mm. and couldn't play that great. But, oh well, I'll try and get the next one. Simon, it is always a pleasure. Cheers, mate. Well, we're sure we'll see you at the next one. Yeah, well so, done, buddy. Yeah. Simon Dem second. Mate. Well, absolutely fantastic. Well done, fella. Simon Dem second. We're going straight over. <laughs> we are heading. I'll, I'll head this way. You focus on that vibe. Ben Windsor, if anybody, if anybody deserves, come here, Ben. Come here. If anybody deserves a title, one of the most consistent poker players at this moment in time. You've had a fantastic season. Final table. After final sale, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, can't believe it. 
Um, so happy. I was, Simon started to get a bit on top, like free-handed. So yeah. I was, I'm glad when he uh, knocked him out, we could uh, do the deal and then play heads up. Yeah, because I know he's struggles with his heads yeah. up. And even, even with the deal, you've got the grand final seat to play for. Yeah, I know, and yeah. the trophy, the it's title. Yeah, big, wanted, isn't it? yeah, I wanted it. Yeah, I wanted it big time. But, mm. Yeah, I'm so happy that I've finally done it. Yeah. You were shoot leader for a long time. A lot of people yeah. were saying this is Ben's time. Yeah, I lost that big pot to um, Simon where I called with the eights. I think that's very cool now, but um, it's just it's more the fact of trying to get him out of the game mm. than, I don't know, it's yeah. a bit of a gamble, but he's, yeah. yeah. You play small pot poker together so yeah. well. It's just the min raise and then the, you make it out between you. It's yeah. fantastic to watch. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a really good player, and I'm just, I'm just I'm speechless. I'm just really happy. I've, yeah. uh, I've done it eventually. I've won, I won the tournament. And the ace jack, always yeah, been remembered as yeah. the title winner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Fantastic. Yeah, we're going to we're going to get Matt straight over. If Matt, you just get the trophy, Ben. You've entertained us yet again. A lot. Fantastic, Matt. Come in, winner of the GUKPT is Mr. Ben Windsor. Well done, man. Well done. Uh, well, what a fantastic, fantastic performance from, from Ben Windsor. A great final table. Absolutely awesome. This guy is always going to be known. As champion, it's absolutely fantastic to see Ian as a winner. Yeah. Really, really many, many congratulations. Love Walsall, it has been awesome. We'll see you in four weeks' time in Cardiff. Brand new champion on the GUKPTs, Ben Windsor. We have one more thing to do before we actually finish tonight, and it's the draw for the final hand. The winning hand and the time as well. Uh, Darren O'Neill won. Dave, very unlucky. He was in the chat box, not on Facebook. You've got one more thing to do before we leave. Two people have guessed Ace Jack. One person booked King Queen versus Ace Jack. Now, King Queen was obviously the winning hand and you're against Ace Jack, so you can't have that. Somebody else put Ace Jack suited. It wasn't, it was Ace Jack. Check it out. We've got one thing for you to do. The first person to type in the chat box right now, left hand or right hand, and you win, the, the, that person will win, whoever wins it, the 30 pound token. Please, first person in the chat box, left hand or right hand? Your left or their left? <laughs> left, Darren Annis has put left, and it is Ryan Crane. Ryan Crane, it's right there. Ryan Crane has just won himself a £33 token on Grosvenor Puck and use it wisely. We'll be emailing everybody else. All we can say right now is thanks for watching. It's been absolutely stupendous here in Walsall. We've got... Oh, Dina's here. Dina, Dina's turned... Don't leave. Dina's just turned up for 10 seconds. Uh, thanks for watching. It's been awesome. We've got a worthy champion in Ben Windsor. But all we can say at this moment in time is from the tower of the team... Ta-ta. Ta-ta. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this in the video.